Well, before Trump left office, he pardoned or commuted the sentences of 140 people, including former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. That means Kilpatrick will be released from prison, serving about one quarter of his 28-year prison sentence. Kilpatrick spent six and a half years at the helm in Detroit, 2002 to 2008. But in 2013, he was convicted on 24 counts in federal court, including extortion, bribery, and tax evasion. Feds say he took bribes and got kickbacks and used city funds for himself. And he was sentenced to 28 years in prison, one of the longest prison sentences ever recommended by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Kilpatrick's continued attempts at appeals were denied, so his supporters took their pleas to President Trump. And overnight, his release was granted with the president saying several prominent leaders in Detroit wanted this. The president's statement says, quote, the ends of justice do not require Kilpatrick to remain confined until his currently projected release date of January 18th, 2037. And the safety of the community will not be compromised if he is released. We have team coverage tonight with two people who have been here through it all. Karen Drew and Hank Winchester covered Kwame Kilpatrick from the moment he was sworn in through today. Karen's looking at what may come next for the former mayor. Let's start, though, with Hank and the reaction from local leaders, which uh, the president said were part of the reason he granted this commutation. Hank. Yes, Devin, some were part of that. Uh, we're talking with insiders, some people who are celebrating today, saying that this is great for Kwame Kilpatrick, this is great for justice overall. But there are others who say what is happening is a huge mistake. I was a little nauseous when I heard the news. Attorney Norman Utuma says he still can't believe it. He cannot believe that Kwame Kilpatrick will soon be a free man. The 28 years that were, were his sentence were deserved, and uh, he deserves to finish that out. I, th I think what happened today was a real miscarriage of justice. During the height of the Manoogian Mansion investigation, Yatuma represented the family of slain stripper Tamara Green. He says her family members are obviously devastated by this news. They are disgusted and repulsed. You know, we, uh, we litigated against Kwame for many years in this case. And in the end, of course, uh, he never he was never punished for what happened to Tammy Green or her kids. Sharon McPhail was on Detroit City Council during Kilpatrick's first term. I think that he took responsibility early on for what got him there. And while their relationship had its ups and downs, she's been in contact with Kilpatrick recently and has been working to help support his fight for freedom. He was very much being trying to be led by uh, a higher power in all of this and you would have to, to put up with all of the years of incarceration that he's had. Detroit's current mayor Mike Duggan releasing this statement. Kwame Kilpatrick is a person of great talent who still has much to contribute. I know how close he is to his three sons and I could not be happier for them being together again. This is a decision President Trump got right. We also reached out to Gary Brown today. You may remember he uh, was the reason for the whistleblower lawsuit against Kwame Kilpatrick. He released a statement saying that he hopes and prays that Kwame Kilpatrick's life continues to improve. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, back to you. Yeah, Hank, I'm wondering, do we have any idea when he may be released from prison and then where he might go after that? Uh, Kimberly, we are hearing that it's possible he could be released tonight, although we don't have any confirmation from the Bureau of Prisons regarding his release or uh, where he may be headed once he gets out of prison, yeah. either tonight or possibly tomorrow. Yeah, back to you. We'll be watching. Okay, Hank, thank you.